Hi, today is uh, February the 19th. This is a follow-on from my previous video. Last time I added a second layer of, of boxes with frames to these four nukes that were in five frames and I left these three alone. Today I'm going to weigh them to see how much they've lost and then I'm going to add a little tray of sugar slush which is just a rim with a wire on the bottom, a bit of crap, a bit of paper, and about nine pounds of sugar. Okay, let me go see what they weigh. Okay, so first, before I weigh them, I thought we'd take a look and see what the cluster's like underneath these covers. I've got the vinyl covers like I had on the previous ones. That's the first one. As you can see, that covers about, let's say, a third of the top frame for comparison. I think you've got the smoke there, honey. Let me move the smoke out of the way. That one, the one in the center, is covers at least, well, almost all of the top. And then the last one, this one over here, that's more of a that's more of a dinky one. It's just covering like a, a quarter of the top. Notice how it's up against this one for some sister heat. Is there any correlation that this one in the middle? is the biggest because it's got warmth from both sisters who knows anyway now to weigh them it's always interesting to see when you take the bottom boards out to see what they look like so I, what I did was when I weighed them I didn't want to, if there was any frozen ice here that to mess up my weights so from left to right as you might recall that was a moderate sized colony that was a larger size colony and that one's very dinkish. If you look at this one you'll see that's a, a given amount of dead. Now did they are they there because they they um, there were fewer that died than there were in this colony or was it that the case that this colony could dedicate more bees to take out the dead? If you look over to the to the uh, this colony over here I would suggest that there, that colony is so dinkish that they can't afford to spend anybody on funeral any time with any time on funeral duties. So that's what that's what I thought. Okay, time to add some sugar. Being the chicken I am, I'll start with the smaller one first. Let's go. There's a little little waft. Shake that one down. There's not very many bees there. That's might or might not make it, but we'll give it a chance. Okay, off with that one a sec. Okay, now onto the more popular side. We'll give it a little bit of smoke before we go in. few flying. Let's get that on the top pretty quick there. There we go. Okay. Last but not least. Okay, so now all I've got to do is put the lids on. So from left to, to right, that started at 44 pounds gross and has lost 6 to, 30, to be 38. That started at 43 gross and has lost 9 to be at 34. And this one started at 44 and has lost 12 to be at 32. So that one's struggling, that one's doing well, and that one's moderate. All that remains to be seen is how they do in the spring. This is a 40 degree day. This is a La Nina, I think you say it, a year, a milder year. This year so far, there's only been a dozen days with a zero in them. Last year, there was 50 with a zero in them. Um, I don't think I could do this every year, get them this far, 
it's it's worth a gamble when you've got um, bees to play with and it's going to be a, a milder winter. The standard overwintering setup for me is a is a five by is a five by five by five, kind of like over there. Um, some of them are in the five over five over fives, and uh, there we go. And that has become more routine. It's not routine to for me to try them in a single five frame box, but hey, sometimes you get lucky.